guys, so as most of you know, my husband Dan and I are in the process of moving to a new house. We are currently out of attorney review, doing inspections, and getting ready to start packing up this house to move, which is crazy. So I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of decluttering motivation in terms of changing your mind to think, would I want this if I were moving? Do I want to pack this into a box, put the effort into packing it away, keeping it safe, getting more and more boxes to pack everything, move it into a truck, move from the truck into the house and unpack it and put it somewhere in a new house. That is exactly what I'm thinking. To change your thinking into would I want to move this is a really excellent motivator. So I recently tackled four different areas in our home. The first was my clothing and I really thought that I had already done as much purging as I could. I probably thought of like a couple things I could get rid of but after doing like the KonMari purge a little while back, I thought, you know, my closet's pretty good. But you guys, I went through my closet and my drawers, my dresser drawers. I got rid of so many clothes. I did get a few things for Christmas, so I tried to do like one in one out, but I got rid of way more than I even thought I could. After I did the KonMari purge, um, I held on to a few things I wasn't sure about. And so this time around, I definitely made sure to purge them. A couple things I set aside that I thought maybe my sister would want, so I gave those to her right away, and then the rest I just straight donated to a local thrift store and got them out of the house, out of my dresser, out of my closet, and I have so much more room in my closet so that when we do move, I know that I'm bringing only the things that I love into the new closet, and I have so many extra hangers that I can use, and it just feels really good to be able to move a wardrobe that I love into a new home and not have to deal with purging once I get there. The next area that I tackled was our basement sort of storage room. We had a few things in there that again, we weren't really using, so I purged those. But specifically, picture frames. I had so many picture frames that I just wasn't even using. I just was really honest with myself and I thought, you know what? Whatever frames I have up right now in our home are the ones that I love, they're the ones I'm using. Everything else I'm storing, I'm probably not gonna use in the new home. So I did keep a few and then I put those in a small box, sort of packed them away already and all the rest I donated. I put them all into my car immediately, put them off to the thrift store because I figured I'm using what I have and if I did need another frame or two, I have a small collection that I can pull from in the new home. Some more items that I purged from the basement were baby toys. I really tried to pare down the baby toys to just one bin that we keep in our living room. Things that Lara can play with, with no worries. And then also if any other babies come over, any friends of ours with their kids wanna come over. I really just tried to get rid of any excessive toys that we weren't using. The third area that I went to was our linen closet. And we have a very small linen closet and it has three little baskets that we keep dental things, beauty things, and medicine. So I made sure to go through all three of those bins. And while they're small, there definitely were things in there that we weren't using, that we didn't need. Things that were sort of backup items that I could go ahead and refill into their designated areas. And then things we weren't using, things that just had excessive packaging that I could get rid of. I know for us, we had an excessive amount of those like medicine dispensers because every time you buy a medicine, you get a new dispenser and you just throw it in the bin. I had so many that we were able to get rid of. I just kept three because I figured that was a good amount. I probably only needed one, but just to be sure, I kept two of one size and one of another and that should be perfectly fine. As well as like three different Band-Aid boxes that I was able to consolidate and just get everything nice and streamlined so that again, when we move, I can put those bins into the new linen closet or wherever we plan to put them and I know that everything has already been streamlined and I know what is in each of those bins. The last area that I tackled was our bathroom. So we have a medicine cabinet as well as some shelves over our door and a couple baskets on top of the medicine cabinet and also the cabinet under our sink. Basically anywhere that junk could be hiding in the bathroom, I went through and purged anything we didn't need. Again, I was able to put some things aside that I thought my sister might want, um, but then like old cosmetics I wasn't using, I just threw away. And let me tell you, it feels so good to open my medicine cabinet and have all of my beauty things that I need and all my daily essentials just right there at my fingertips. I'm not shoving things in when it's time to get ready in the morning. Everything is just streamlined and there's actually space between each of the products, which is amazing. Again, I went through the items in our under the sink vanity. It's very small down there. And I went through the drawers and just got rid of anything we weren't using, wiped it all out. And again, the goal was so that when we move into the new house, we can just put those things away in the bathroom and not worry about any excessive clutter that came with us in the move.
When doing any decluttering or purging, the best thing to do is to put those items in your car and get them out to a thrift store or a donation of any kind right away, not to hold on to them. And for us specifically, it was really important to get those things out of the house so that I can continue to evaluate what we have and what we really want to bring with us. And again, put the effort into moving and packing and unpacking in a new house. So hope this was some encouragement to you guys. If you need some motivation to declutter or purge, just think, would I want to pack this and bring it to a new home? Another thing to think is, if I were in a new home, would I want to purchase this item for my home? And if the answer is no, then just part with it and be done with it. Let me tell you, I have never regretted anything I've ever donated. And I am constantly putting things into our donation bin, getting them out of the house, and I've never looked back. So, hope that encourages you guys. I hope you have a blessed new year, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.